Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz here, and in today's video, this is going to be a highly requested video, which is an AFK money making video. So these methods are going to be pretty AFK in this video, but they will have varying requirements. Some may have really high level requirements and some towards the medium level. I try to give a lot of variety in these videos so everyone can find a money maker that's right for them. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more money making guides like this and more RS3 content. And without further ado, let's get right into the first method. So the first method we're going to be looking at is AFKing Chaos Dwarves and Hand Cannoners with Aggression Potions. To do this method, the requirements are going to be 80 plus combat stats, 92 prayer for soul split, you will need a split tooth dragon necklace or a twisted bird skull necklace, any of the necklaces that work with the bone crusher. Speaking on bone crusher, you'll also need the bone crusher, of course, and you will need the forgiveness of a chaos dwarf quest complete to be able to access the chaos battlefield. For the gear setup, you're going to want some non-degradable armor and possibly a weapon if you can. But you could use something that degrades like a noxious staff if you don't mind spending a little more money like I did, but you could use something that doesn't degrade as well to save money. So I use full subjugation since it won't degrade and then a noxious staff. You're going to need a bone crusher of course and a split tooth dragon necklace combination as this is key to this method to not using any prayer. You, a luck ring is also nice to use along with a rune pouch since we'll be maging. And any cape is honestly fine for this method. You're not going to be having to deal out a ton of damage. It's more of just having at least something on and being able to AoE things down. So for the inventory, it's pretty simple. You'll just want aggression potions and you can use overloads or stat boosting potions to speed things up a little bit, but you don't have to. I just did because I basically bring them everywhere. Um, I brought some panic food, although after doing this method for a whole hour, I didn't use any food or prayer at all. So you really don't need any extra food or prayer unless you're scared, um, but I wouldn't be. It was really, really easy. Magic note paper is also a very good thing to bring because these mods drop a lot of muddy keys that are worth about 10k each and you can pick them up and note them for some extra cash per hour if you do although of course you can just leave them on the ground if you don't want to waste the time picking them up so before we get into this method i just want to say i'll be using an alt one toolkit during this method which is a runescape overlay and it has something called the afk warden and what this does is it will give you a notification whenever you get a loot beam so if you're afking and you hear the notification sound you know you have a loot beam and you know to look back at your screen to pick up items this is great for this method because you can literally just look away for the whole six minutes of your aggression potion and then AFK after taking another sip. I'll leave a link in the description to this overlay as it's completely safe and not against the rules and most people have been using it for years on RuneScape 3 for things like clues and puzzle boxes. You do not need this however as you can just look back every now and then to see if you have a loot beam but it's something that I like to use. So the Chaos Dwarves and Hand Cannoners drop notably Hand Cannons, Hand Cannon Shots, Muddy Keys, and the coveted Dragon Pickaxe. Picking up the Hand Cannon Shots and Muddy Keys are optional. It'll make things a tad less bit AFK, but you'll make more money per hour. And now with the new area loot that's updated, you can keep area loot up at all times and just walk around every now and then and pick up all the keys. However, the main drops we're going to be going for are the hand cannon and the dragon pickaxe. So to do this method, you'll need to just get to the Chaos Dwarf battlefield, which is in the southwest corner of Keldegrim by a tunnel near the gold rock. Once you're here, it's really simple. You'll want to stand around where I'm standing near the white Chaos Drogers and Hand Cannoners, which are what we'll be wanting to kill because the black guard members don't drop anything that we're after. So you'll want to position yourself near the west side of the battlefield. Then you'll want to put on Soul Split, and I wouldn't recommend using any Mage Turmoils because it's really not worth it. You'll want to drink your Aggression Pot and Stat Boosting Potions if you have them, and make sure your AoE abilities are on your bar, such as Chain, Dragon Breath, 
and corruption shot. So things like that are really gonna help speed up the kills. Now you'll just AFK and every now and then you'll check back for loot beams and you should always have full prayer and health. Now if you find yourself getting low on health for any reason, you can use a vampirism aura as a nice little crush and should have no issues. It's honestly way more AFK than I thought from doing this previously. When I did this before, I used to pay full attention killing the right dwarves, but honestly, this is just such a great AFK method, and you don't need to have super high level gear or insanely high stats. So now we're gonna look at the loot I received and look at the GP per hour on average. So I ended up doing this for a full hour and I ended up getting 430 hand cannoner kills, 350 chaos dwarf kills, and 260 chaos droger kills in the full hour for a total of 1000 kills completely AFK. I ended up getting 5 hand cannons which is about on rate for how many hand cannoners I killed, maybe I got a tad a bit lucky, and in total I made over 4 million in the hour, however this does not factor in the dragon pickaxe which I ended up getting 1k kills of the monsters that dropped the dragon pickaxe, and the dragon pickaxe is a 1 in 5k drop, so I basically should have gotten 1 fifth of a dragon pickaxe this hour, which adds up to like another 2.5 mil. I did however pick up the muddy keys and use magic note paper which got me an extra 6 or 700k, which is pretty nice. So I would say this method completely AFK is a good 3 to 6 million GP per hour. If you include the dragon pickaxe chance, you may even be able to get like 7 to 8 mil an hour um, if you're picking up all the muddy keys and stuff, and it's honestly just such a good method to AFK. There's not much startup cost, not huge requirements, and it's just really nice. So I highly recommend this to anyone with the stats, and hand cannons and dragon pickaxes are always going to be like a decent amount because people disassemble the hand cannons and people use the dragon pickaxes so I don't see the items going down very much so this is a really really good AFK method. So now moving on to the next method we are going to be looking at mining necrite rocks for necrite ore. The requirements for this method are going to be level 70 mining and then you'll need 83 summoning for a lava titan. And 99 strength will give you better rates per hour, however it's not needed. So for the gear setup, I would recommend the best mining outfit you have, although of course you don't need it. I'm using the Magic Golem outfit. Bring your best pickaxe, and then Grace of the Elves and Porters are really good because they'll bank the ore for you. So that's what I recommend using, however you could use your ore box of course. And if you're inventory, you'll want a Lava Titan pouch um, because it's just really good. And then Necrite Stone Spirits to double your ores, which is something you'll need to buy. And then you'll also want a perfect Juju Mining Potion to increase your stamina when mining. So in terms of location, we're going to be doing this in the Alcrid Resource Dungeon, which does require level 75 Dungeoneering to enter and has 6 Necrite Rocks. However, if you don't have 75 Dungeoneering, you can go to the Oozer Mine and Mine Rocks there. I'll link in the description to Necrite Rock location so you can see. So once you get to your location, it's just honestly super easy. You just click on a rock and you AFK. That's that's pretty much it. Of course you can go to different rocks to get the rock opportunities if you want to speed up things, but honestly, if you just want to AFK endlessly, don't even bother. This method is one of the most AFK methods I found and it actually is pretty decent money-wise for how AFK it is. So we're now gonna look at the GP per hour that I got. So if we take a look at the GP per hour, I ended up spending around 200 to 225k on the stone spirits and the porter charges that I used. And in a total of 20 minutes of AFK mining, I ended up mining 190 necrite ore, which including my geodes loot came out to 917k GP, which is about 700k profit in 20 minutes, or a little bit over 2 million GP per hour in an extremely AFK method, and I mean extremely AFK. This is a great method if you really want to just not pay attention at all, and it's even more AFK than our first method, and honestly just decent money for how easy it is. All right, so this last method is going to be a magic method, and it's going to be stringing diamond amulets with a string jewelry spell from Lunars. So for this method, you're going to need level 80 magic and the Lunar Diplomacy quest complete. You may also need a decent starting cash stack at around 10 to 20 million GP to buy the supplies. 
As for gear, you'll need a mud battle staff and you don't need a rune pouch, but a rune pouch will save you one inventory spot. So it's nice to use that if you have it to put your astral runes, but if not, you can go without it. So to do this method, you'll need to start off by buying unstrung diamond amulets and astral runes. So make sure you check the prices to make sure this method is worth it before you do it. You will also need two astral runes for each amulet you're going to string. So if the two astral runes and the unstrung amulet cost less than the strung amulet sells for, you'll be looking at some decent profit, but make sure you check the prices first. After this, all you need to do is to make a preset with your unstrung diamond amulets and then put the string amulet on your action bar, withdraw your preset, click the string amulet keybind, and just AFK until your inventory is made about one minute or so. It's honestly super easy and like all the other methods in this guide, very AFK. Of course, for this one, you'll need to click the bank every minute or so to get more amulets out, but that's literally all you'll have to do. You will also get some decent magic XP per hour at about 150 to 200k, and you could definitely try this method out with other types of amulets as well to see what will give you the most profit. All right, so looking at the GP per hour in total, I ended up spending 6.1 million GP on the supplies, and after 30 minutes of stringing, I strung over 1,000 amulets, which comes out to 7.4 million GP, and they all ended up selling in about a few hours of being left on the GE. So your amulets may take a bit to sell, but they will eventually sell. So overall, this comes out to 1.3 million GP made in 30 minutes, or 2.6 million GP profit per hour, being pretty AFK with some decent magic XP as well. So a really decent method as well as the others. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, leave a like down below. It really helps the video and, you know, the YouTube algorithm. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Um, it would be crazy to hit 10,000 subscribers. That's literally a dream of mine. So um, if you want more RuneScape 3 content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And thanks to all my channel members uh, that support the channel. Um, you guys are amazing. And you can join my channel memberships by clicking the join button below. Uh, in the description or the button that pops up on screen and you can get cool perks like exclusive discord rank merch sent to you all kinds of cool stuff and support the channel at the same time so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you in the next video